Hey guys, welcome back to Sip, Save, and Celebrate. I'm Chris. And I'm Devin. And, and today, today we are talking about an illustrious bottle. Illustrious? Illustrious. An elusive? Illustrious. I've never heard that word, but I like it. Anyways, this is Tequila Tao's High Proof. So, quick story. We just came back from a beautiful trip in Mexico. Yep. And we got to go m meet up with Martin, who is the owner and dis the distiller with Tao, and Sergio Cruz, who is the, the master, master distiller. distiller. Yep. Um, and we show up, we get invited in, and they are... <laughs> trying to ta tau tequila they changed their bottles a little um and yep they came out with a high proof and so you know of course it was amigos come sit enjoy with us we Which, had I i'll be honest it was kind of a surreal moment because the uh the distillers closed at the moment they're just doing some videoing of the new uh high proof uh, I don't know how many people have already gotten their hands on one of these. We were just privileged enough to be in the right place at the right time. And we got this and it was just a surreal moment. We're just like, even though we had a defined uh, 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 information, bar not information, but a uh, language barrier, because uh, we don't speak Spanish, they don't speak English, but they had a gentleman there by the name of Jerry. Jerry, shout out to you. Uh, who was doing the, the translations. translations for us. And we didn't let that slow us down. We had such a great time. It was like hanging out with all friends, you know, just talking and like, hey, check this out. What do you think of this? And then they showed us around the distillery. And, and as I said, the first nighttime tour ever. First and only, he said. Exactly. <laughs> it was amazing to see, you know, the hornos that, that, that were still hot because they... One was on the cool down and one was getting ready to be fired up. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. for the, the extreme for the cook. cook. Yep. You know, and, and then we got to see all the distilleries and we got to try some of the mash that was sitting right. there aging, which was yep. really cool. Yep. And then, you know, hey, try this out of the still, you know, a couple yep. couple tries, which absolutely awesome. So my team Huge shout out to you. Thank you for the invite. Sergio Cruz. You were hilarious. Absolutely dude. amazing. We can't wait to visit again. And Jerry, thank you so much. Appreciate we it. appreciate it. You've only been speaking English for, for six, six months. months but you You've been doing job. an amazing job. Keep it up. That's right. And now let's get back to our high proof. All right. So Tequila Tao. This is made, obviously, in Los Altos at uh, the <sighs> Viva Mexico. <laughs> I know. Uh, Viva Mexico, um, the Vivanco family, uh, NOM 1414. They're using um, agaves that have been resourced from the highlands. Uh, they use stone brick ovens, which we got to see in person. That's a whole nother level. Um, and then we've seen the roller mill. And they Correct. put it through the roller mill twice to get all the juices extracted. Um, and then when they water it down, they actually use... Uh, deep well water. Um, we saw the stainless steel tanks. Massive, massive tanks uh, when they ferment it. Uh, they're using champagne yeast and they're using without fibers. And they do have classical music playing. Absolutely. And it was cool because when we were there, they're like one song came on. They didn't happen to know what it was. And I'm like, ah, Oh Fortuna. I know that song because it's from the movie... Uh, gladiators mm -hmm. and it was playing in the um in the uh distillery there at that moment uh their stills are copper pot and this is 97 proof so it's 85 or 48.5 alcohol by volume and confirmed no additives see that is straight up cooked agave mm -hmm. right at number 12 at 12 o'clock just strong agave. That's six. So when we refer to this, so think of it like a clock. Yes, we were we were actually taught while we were there and nosing that Anna Maria, Anna Maria Thank and you. Bart um, all taught us that you got to think of it as a clock. And you know, twelve gives you something, three gives you something, six gives you something, nine gives you something. And actually, when you're nosing, you're supposed to do it without the swish at first. 
Because yeah. then you get... And I already switched. Because you get all of the, you know, regular flavors. See, now I'm getting, I'm getting the, actually, I'm getting the fermentation right on the mm -hmm. top. That's, that's new. Some cinnamon. Oh, nice. and Bart, no chocolate in this one. <laughs> or Eduardo. <laughs> that's awesome. Beautiful agave. You have agave, vegetal. Oil. Very, very, uh, like, earthy mineral yeah. over there at that 3, like, 3.30. I agree. And that 6 has some beautiful mint notes to it. It's beautiful. It's, it's just honestly it's beautiful. All right, here you go, guys. Mmm. And this is what tequila should taste like. I'm getting beautiful cooked agave, cinnamon. There's a slight sting from the high proof part of it, but I like that. Um, Yeah, I'm getting the cinnamon, the the vegetal side of the cooked agave. Uh, now, cooked agave to me, I don't know if you got... Well, you uh, So when I was trying the actual cooked agave from the fibers um, at Fortaleza, I, the first thing that came to my mind was like a... Um, was a... Uh, uh, like, if you've ever had a yam or a sweet potato that had been cooked but not doctored up yet. So you didn't add the butter and the all that to it yet. That, that, that's what it tasted like to me. Almost, almost like a, a molasses almost. And when I we know. were at uh, the wine distillery and they had that big shipment of pinas there and had opened the horno, mm -hmm. it was all sticky and gooey yep. on the floor, which... Yes. You know, it's very indicative of those sugars being, you know, cooked out. Um, so good, so good, so good. Which, to me, did have a sweet smell to it. Um, but definitely cooked agave, for sure. There's a light, light, light white pepper kind of on the left outer part of your tongue, um, which kind of rounds out the flavor. You get that cinnamon over on the right. It is just a beautiful blend. Yeah, I get that pepper. Um, going back at that second drink, now I'm getting some mint in there. Um, some cinnamon, mint, um, sweet cooked agave. Um, and for a high proof, it's really smooth, super smooth. Um, I I know we got a chance to tell them in, in person, but uh, definitely, again, Hats off to uh, to Sergio and your crew over there. Uh, Martin, thanks for bringing a great spirit to market. This stuff is good. As soon as it gets available, you guys have to go get you know, a bottle of the High Proof Tequila Tau. Absolutely. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. Stay with us. We're going to be getting those videos edited and added up. I know we gave you a couple teasers from here and there, but we're going to be putting up more. And, and also... also Hit up uh, Martin. Hit yeah. up Sergio Cruz. Go through like our Insta and say, hey, you know, they love when when people reach out about good tequila. That's right. And, you know, again, you're a part of the Sip, Savor, and Celebrate family. Don't forget to interact here, interact there, and always remember to Sip, sip Savor, and Celebrate. Salute. Salute.